The COVID fifth year effect is beginning to wind down, but one transfer that's made a massive difference is Josh Sawada, fifth year who came from Michigan. Josh is a Raleigh, North Carolina native, and little do people know, he and Dyson Williams were high school teammates. Each of them were top recruits coming out of the Hill Academy, both ranked in the top 40, and they had a tremendous career. As of March 14th, Zawada leads the team in points and assists with 27 assists, and Dyson leads the team in goals with 30 goals. They have connected on 12 of these 30 as their connection continues to flourish. Legendary player and coach, Brody Merrill spoke to how they complimented each other in high school, saying that Josh is a versatile righty dodger and Dyson was always able to find the soft spots where Josh could find him. Josh had space to create because of Dyson's off-ball presence and Dyson had more space on the backside because of the attention that Josh drew as a dodger. Now we're going to take a look at a couple areas that these guys have connected so far this season. Multiple times the classic extra man offense connection has been present. Josh as the righty feeder, Dyson as the lefty finisher. There's been a couple examples of him flashing a target, presenting a target with his stick, and cutting down to Josh. Josh clearly has trust in Dyson, pushing some of those balls inside, whether he's wide open on some of these cuts like he is, or he's even a little more covered up. This next example is a classic dodge, throw it forward and look inside, look. Hits a tight window, Dyson has a beautiful twister finish on the inside. Now, one thing that they've started to develop even more chemistry on, which is interesting, is the fish hook. We saw this first against Princeton, where Dyson's working up in a hung situation, and again, he's pretty covered up. Second defender gets a check on it, and somehow Dyson, with his great hands, is able to hold on and then finish with a backhand finish. We saw this the following week, on the out of bounds play against Loyola, where Dyson starts below GLE, Josh picks it up off the end line, and when Josh comes out of that change of direction, Dyson's there to roll away on that fish hook, catch and finish. Defense does a great job in both examples of being open, but because Josh is delivering the ball on the stick, Dyson's able to connect and put that ball away. The Next couple that I think are really impressive, this happened against Penn, the trust inside is evident. You can see that really Dyson is not uncovered, but because he's flashing his stick and asking for the ball, Josh has that trust built from that high school connection to be able to throw it inside. This was one early in the game against Penn. Obviously, this one didn't go Duke's way, but you can see that that defender is all over Dyson's back, but because he's got that, again, ability to ask for the ball he is clearly saying hey throw it to me i'll catch it when looking back at some of their high school highlights this was one of the more ridiculous catches on the inside that i've seen and i think this really speaks to their trust so look at how josh steps away handles the double team dyson catches it with one, one arm right handed extended before turning getting his stick on and finishing that ball lefty if that doesn't speak to the trust that these two have, I don't know what will. As we move on here, now we see an example in zone offense. They don't score this one, and it's certainly low time in the quarter, but you can see how Josh looks away on the pass. You can see how Dyson's finding that soft spot as Denenza throws it forward. And then even number six for Loyola is really close to being in that passing lane. He tries to get a stick up on it, somehow gets through to Dyson. And again, Goey makes a great save, but the way that these two connect is very uncanny. Another clip I love from their high school tape was this flyby. Josh is carrying the ball towards X. We see Dyson front swing to his left hand, and then he finishes coming around the cage. Beautiful execution between these two. They graduated in 2019 from Hill Academy. Brody Merrill has put together a legendary group of alums. A couple more clips skip passes, some inside looks, and this connection has only continued for Dyson and Zawada. This was a big one against Gilman in 2019. In 2017 and 2018, Josh and Dyson were national champions with Hill Academy. They had great careers in high school, and it's been fun to see that connection flourish as they've gotten to college. Be on the lookout for it. Obviously, we all know about Brendan O'Neill on that attack line. It creates a really dangerous attack line. So looking forward to watching Duke the rest of the season.